Hey guys, it's Denise here, NOLA Collectibles, and I'm here with another jewelry bag um, from my local thrift store. I went ahead and um, stopped by there yesterday. I um, Basically, I, I left work a little bit early. I had an early dismissal. Um, so I went ahead and hit the thrift store during, you know, those earlier hours to try and avoid the weekend crowds. So um, I checked out the jewelry bags and um, fortunately they were already kind of like running out of them. They really didn't have much selection. So this was the only one and I was like kind of hesitant to get it because it did look like it has like a lot of kids stuff in it. Um, but it did also look like it had some interesting things. Um, so, <laughs> you know, and I also, my theory is that sometimes when they stick like a lot of this kid stuff in it, they know people are not going to buy it. So sometimes they overcompensate and they stick some really great stuff in there. Um, that's my hypothetical theory. I'm sticking to it. Um, but let's go right ahead and bust into this bad boy here. And so there is a lot of kid stuff in here, um, but... There looks like there's cool stuff as well. I mean, the first thing that I'm noticing in here is this little trinket box. Um, how cool is this? Little silver tone, antique looking trinket box. This is really pretty. Um, it almost looks like kind of like that ormolu style, that lace work. Um, this one's in silver tone. Sometimes they also come in gold and, you know, people put them on their vanities. Um, this is beautiful. Um, I'm really happy with this. This is really interesting. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on this to see what the deal is on this, but um, this is pretty cool. Really beautiful rose detail on top. So we'll put that right over there and continue on. So this here, um, <laughs> you know, I tell, I told you guys that, you know, we're here in Louisiana um, and we are, this is home of Mardi Gras. And so I'm suspecting that this is actually um, from Mardi Gras. One of our Mardi Gras crews is called Muses and they have a signature float that is a, is giant tethered rubber ducky floats and they, um, they're in bath water. They're <laughs> giant bathtubs. It's really cute. Um, but I suspect that this likely would have come off on their floats. They're, they throw like the most premium throws um and they're an all women crew which is kind of cool so it's just all women that ride in on that float um okay so this looks like another little trinket box this is so cool beautiful i wonder if i don't think these guys are sterling silver but they could be silver plated um they're definitely tarnished i'll have to check that one out too i'll put that aside Oh, this looks like um, a uh, butterfly clip from the <laughs> early 2000s that's seen better days. I'll put that one aside. Um, we have this Indian style bangle bracelet. Um, pretty standard. Um, this one actually looks like it has brass, that there's brass in there, which is not too, too bad. Um, and it looks like all the mirror detail is there and whatnot. I have a um, stretch stretch bracelet here, a little bit of um, faux rhinestone detailing. That's pretty standard. Here, look, another Mardi Gras. <laughs> another treasure of Mardi Gras. <laughs> um, and this one, it says, believe it or not, 1985. And this looks like... Okay, this, so this is a Jefferson Parish. This is the neighboring parish um, next to Orleans. Um, so this likely came off of a float. Um, it says their crew of, I can't read it. Um, but yeah, that's another Mardi Gras token. <laughs> Moving right along. We have this. This is beautiful. This looks like a button cover. It says, it says Noni, New York. So I would have assumed that it would be um, some kind of Southwestern um type of jewelry but it says it's from New York it's probably fashion the stone doesn't feel like it's natural that's what the back looks like um so there's that that's I mean it is pretty though it's a nice looking little button cover it's very ornate a pair of earrings I have um this this looks like a um a sweater 
accessory. This is what you would kind of like loop between your buttons um, to keep your sweater closed. That's cute. It doesn't, it's not particularly heavy. It feels kind of plasticky, so um, not the best quality there. Okay, here we have um, a golden pearl necklace. Um, it does look like it's hand knotted in between the pearls. Um, it's missing one end of the clasp, unfortunately. I want to say, I think these are glass. I just did the teeth test. I know you're probably like completely repulsed, but I, I mean, <laughs> why, why not? I'll brush my teeth afterwards. I'll report back. Hopefully the, you know, there would be no harm done to myself. If I catch anything, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> what else do we have here? Uh, this just looks like a leather wrapped bangle bracelet, not in very good condition. So that'll go to craft. Okay. I recognize this necklace. I recognize it because I have another one. Um, I think, um, see this, this is some of that kid's jewelry. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. I recognize this silver tone necklace as Chico's. I have one currently, it's gold tone. Um, you know, it's not a bad looking necklace. It, it's actually pretty heavy, um, nice and substantial. It's got some nice end caps on it. Um, I liked the gold tone one. It's almost got like a little bit of a... Um, a revival look to it. Yeah, it's Chico's. So that's the Chico's necklace right there. I have a piece of a dirty hair clip. I'll put that aside. <laughs> That'll go straight in the trash. Okay. This, I thought this was a kid's headband, but it's not. It's a, it's a collar necklace, um, and it has some very interesting detail on it. If you can see right there, um, almost looks like a plaid detailing. And um, it's got a sticker on it. It says it's made in India, so I'm going to assume like maybe this is some kind of copper. It's pretty. I'll take that. This little bad boy over here. Earrings. So what's your guys' like opinion on uh that's my cat. She's having she's chittering at the birds outside. We have a bird feeder that we just refilled, and so we we like to call it cat TV, and she's like she's totally into it. She just sits here all day talking to squirrels and birds. Um, what's your opinion on, you know, these jewelry on jarrings and on baggings that are legit? And I mean that by, you know, I'm pulling these items out of the jar, out of the bag. We're discovering these together. Um, but I know I've, I've looked at comments on other people's videos and it looks like people get annoyed sometimes by the tangles because the tangles take up a lot of time. Um, I will try not to, if I, if I find a ta tangle, I'll put it aside. Um, I don't want to waste y'all's time. Um, and I'll, or, or I'll pause the video and come back because I, I totally get it. But, you know, that is kind of like, the, that's the pitfalls of a live jewelry on, ja on jarring. You know, it's going to be tangled. Most of the time stuff's tangled. Um, I don't know. This is some kind of keychain. It's got some sparkly detail on it. Not really sure what that's for. Oh, this is like a, this is like a Cleveland Browns, I think. <laughs> hair clip? What is this? I'm always so amazed by the NFL merchandising that occurs. Like they would definitely said, let's uh, stick our logo on a hair clip and somebody bought it. Okay. All right. You know, I'm not mad about this. This <laughs> looks like um, a fringe bead beaded fringe. Um, it looks like this is how it would have come from the store. I don't mind this because I love to craft. I do a lot of crafting um, around Mardi Gras. I make head dresses and stuff like that um, and head pieces. And this stuff is really expensive and it's cool. This is kind of like a glass tubed bead. Um, you know, I recently had bought 
for this Mardi Gras a green fringed bead and it, it was like half the size of this and I think I paid $20 for it. So I'm, I'm not mad about that. That's a great little find. Here we have another <laughs> Mardi Gras ducky bracelet. I'll put that one aside. Um, this is a super heavy wooden bangle with a brass hammer detail on it. I've seen this style quite a bit as well. Um, this is very heavy. Um, it's not my particular look, but I, I think it's um, a nice quality piece and I'm sure other people will like it. Let's see what else we got here. I don't, this is a velvet bag. I don't think that there's anything in here. It doesn't feel like there's anything in here, but I'll, I'll keep this. I, I always like to repurpose these, um, you know, for traveling and whatnot, or even for shipping out jewelry, you know, when I'm selling jewelry. This is a pearl stretch bracelet with a little bit of a rhinestone detail. That's nice. I have to go right here because I, I, I'm seeing cats and you guys know I have cats. I'm not a cat lady. I've said this before, I swear. Um, this is pretty fabulous though. <laughs> this is amazing. Look at the various stages of cat on here. You have like the fat, plump, sitting cat. You have the straight, upright, perky cat. Um, here's this little fatty cat on the run. This is really cute, you guys. Um, it's so shiny. I, I can't imagine that it's made any, I don't think it's made out of silver. It's definitely like silver, possibly silver plated. But this is hysterical. How cute is this? That's the first time I've seen that. You know, I've always, I don't know, maybe I'm just being kind of um, uh, optimistic or I don't know. I, I think that, I, I feel like sometimes we attract certain things and, um, subconsciously they make their way to us because they know we'll they'll be we'll be receptive to it so I sometimes think that about like precious stone jewelry that I'm like okay if I'm finding a lot of amber it's for a reason or if I'm finding a lot of um, moonstone it's for a reason but but anyway um this looks like a this could be possibly silver this big silver tone flower um, necklace design. I feel like I have seen this design before that it, it's pretty popular, um, but it's very tarnished. So that's usually a good sign. I don't see any um, 925 marking off the bat, but I'll have to look into that a little bit further, test that out and put that aside. This is a um, keychain with a 1957 Chevy going through a drive through <laughs> Okay, put that aside. There's some interesting stuff in this bag. This is like a really motley, weird little bag, huh? This is another coin. It's got a polar bear on it. This is not jewelry. Um, it says it's, the, it's from the Royal Canadian Mint. It's got this polar bear on it. I don't know if this is real money. It says 2004 on it, but this, there's no numerical like or monetary value indicated on it. So I don't know, maybe it's like a commemorative coin for something. Very interesting. Again, I'll have to like look into that a little bit more. Here is a massive bag of miscellaneous kid jewelry. Ooh, I see a little gummy necklace in here. Those are fun. Guys. This is cute. I love the little gummy necklace. This is a gummy bracelet with um, gummy charms. Look how yummy these look. They look legit. I mean, don't you think you could feel like you could just like bite into this? This is so delicious looking. Who doesn't love a good gummy every once in a while? Um, I'm not gonna go through the rest of it, I don't think, because there's just like a lot of stretchy jewelry in here and um, other kinds of assorted um, jewelry, but. I'll put that aside. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, 
This is a um, costume pearl necklace, again, champagne pearls um, with a little uh, length, like about a two inch uh, extension here and a little rhinestone detail um, on the clasp. You can see that right there, if it'll focus. Um, let me see if I see any, oh, I do see a name on this. So pull my loop out. I have my loop here. It's so terrible. I keep forgetting that I have my um the light on on my loop and clear and it's literally the batteries died so quickly. I have to go get another battery. They're almost like watch batteries. They're like the super small ones. Oh, it just says Japan on it. Let's see if these bad boys are. These do. These are gritty. I think these are authentic pearls. So, um, that's nice. Really pretty. Um, although very short, almost like a choker length, um, pearl necklace here. So, that's nice. That's a nice little find. I'll have to test the findings on there too. It'd be nice if they were silver or some other um, metal. So I thought the other thing was a headband, a kid's headband, and this thing actually is a kid headband. A, little, a lot of non-jewelry items in here. <laughs> that's not cool. So yeah, that's just like a little girl's um, pearl headband. I'll put this aside with the kid jewelry, with the pile of kid jewelry. Um. This looks like something that's broken, so that'll go to that'll go to craft. I don't know, this came flying out, so that's like a little silver butterfly ring. I don't know, I think this is just costume. It doesn't feel like it's made out of anything substantial. There's this large shell necklace with a, um, it's got puka shell, it has a shell station, it's got these little doodad dudes over here. This is pretty. I mean, I'd say this is probably, this is like a step above like the typical puka shell necklaces that we um, always see. Um, and this is nice. I think that this is, would be really pretty with them, you know, like your beach wear, your casual gear. You guys, what are these for? I, I get this I get this all the time with these little doodads at the end, and I, I don't know what they're for. Are these supposed to loop onto buttons? Um, because I know, like, I see this sometimes, too, with the men's cufflinks that go through the shirt, but I'm, I'm just not sure. And I see them, or, you know, are they for your glasses? Like, what is this for? Um, so I'm not sure about that. <laughs> um, here is a silver tone bangle. Um, just pretty simple, basic. I don't see any marks on it, but um, I definitely would want to test this out. This does look like silver to me. So we're having another rainy day here in New Orleans. Um, we weren't, I don't even think it was forecasted to rain and it was like crazy thunder and lightning. I mean, it was just insane. It sounded like it was right over my house. Um, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I assume some kind of compass wayfinding um, tool. I don't know, maybe for hikers. What do you guys think? Um, is this something you've seen that you know what it is? Um, I think regardless though of its functionality and what it's supposed to do, <laughs> kind of would be like a fun steampunk accessory. <laughs> so even if they, you were to like take it apart and like use its its components, that would probably make for a pretty cool um, steampunk accessory. I'm gonna just pull out all these junky bangles.
and not so junky bangles. Uh oh, there's gonna be a major tangle over there. I see it happening. Um, yeah, so these are just like cheapy aluminum bangles. I'll put those aside. This one's a silver tone cuff that says, live, laugh, and love. I mean, that's in pretty good condition. This is pretty. This is a silver tone bangle bracelet with a little turquoise bead detail. I don't think this is sterling silver, but it has that look. It definitely has that southwestern jewelry look that um, it's pretty. And I like the size of it. It looks like it's the smaller size. So it wouldn't be like, you know, swimming all over your wrist, like falling off your wrist. This is just a stretch dangle bangle bracelet um, beaded with some faux pearl detail and some beads. This is a glass beaded necklace. This is pretty nice. I, I like these beads right here. These are really beautiful, um, these glass beads. This is nicely made. I suspect that this is homemade. Um, just because I'm looking at how it's finished. There's, there's some pearls on here too, some freshwater pearls. Um, this is creative, very creative. And, and it's nice too. This is kind of like a neutral, just different shades of brown. You could probably wear that in a lot of different ways. Okay. This is a cheapy plastic pearl necklace. I'll put that aside. Saw this, I'm gonna take this out. This looks interesting. This looks interesting. Let's see. This is pretty, it's um, a Y-shaped necklace. And it, okay, it is Swarovski. Um, so that's a Swarovski crystal necklace. It's got a Swarovski crystal drop. Um, and you can see here, um, this is the logo for Swarovski jewelry. It's a swan that has um, crystals on it. Let's see if I can focus that. Hard to show. That's great. That's a nice find. This is beautiful. Um, Swarovski jewelry is expensive. So that's fantastic. Happy about that. That's beautiful. Whoa. <laughs> this is a really large, I don't know what this is made out of, coated metal. It's actually kind of pretty though, right? This would make a statement like on a white blouse or um, I don't need, even on a dress. It's not terrible. I thought it looked a little cheapy, but it's actually okay. Moving right along. Yeah, there are some serious tangles. I'm gonna go over here. There's another little baggie in here. I'm gonna grab that. I do love a bag inside a bag, you guys. Because it always tells me this is somebody's jewelry collection that somehow made its way into donations. Um, okay, so we have this. This is like a faux opal, um, a faux opal ring. Looks like that. It's pretty. It's really pretty. I like the coloration. Even if it's if it's fake, it's actually, because I can see the foil there and the, the foil backing in the ring, it's actually pretty nice. I would actually wear that. Not bad. What are these? I just got distracted. You know, you guys, I'm, I told you, I, I'm like a magpie. I get so easily distracted. I just saw this earring um, and I'm like, this looks like an eyeball, uh, right? Doesn't it look like it would be like a blue eyeball? Um, but I'm looking at the back and it says um, Hogan Boldos. So this might be designer um, and they're screw backs. Here's the other one. This is very interesting. They're really distinct looking, right? Oh, they do just kind of look like eyeballs though. <laughs> But that's neat. I'm, I'm, I love learning about new jewelry. I really do. I think that's why I love doing this. I love these on jarrings. Part of the process really is, you know, the research component of it. 
and learning about new brands, um, you know, and brands that don't exist anymore and vintage jewelry. Um, I just love the whole like research component of it. Let's see what else we got in here. We have this ring right here. It's very sparkly CZ. Um, pear, pear shaped stone. Looks like that. Well, what about a one carat stone, I'd say, of a CZ. Okay, here's another faux opal faux opal ring, um, similar to the other one. This one's a little bit of a different color. So we have this one and this one. There is this little fashion um, feather ring. Another little fashion ring, a daisy. Another one <laughs> of these opal-esque rings. Uh, this one's a big white round. You know, they are pretty though. I mean, they're very, you know, they're very fake, but they're pretty. What else we got in here? There is a blue glass crystal point earring. This doesn't look like um, any kind of stone that's found in nature. Um, so it looks like glass. That's pretty. There's a lot of little doodads in here. There is this flower earring. This is very pretty. Um, yep, there's two of those. Those are pretty. Very sparkly. Love flower earrings. There's a pair of square cut wire earrings. There's some broken components in here. Ooh, there is some body jewelry in here. Oh, there's this little guy. This looks like abalone shell. This one looks like silver. Yep, there's a little 925 on that. So that's a sweet little um, abalone shell silver ring. It's very dainty. Looks like that. Sweet. There is a cross here with a Christian fish on it. This also looks like it, it has a 925 right on the back of the bale there. That's a pretty cross. Very nice. There's, so there's a lot of little tiny earrings in here. I'm not going to go through all of them uh, right now because I think that would um, take too much time. There's a pretty little rhinestone dangle in here. This one. Not, not sure if I'm seeing its partner. I don't think its partner is in here. Yeah, so there's some single earrings or some broken earrings. Um, nothing too, too exciting there. Um, that's nice. Nice couple little pieces of silver in there. Um, this is just a plain white beaded, um, kind of a cheapy necklace with a screw, with a screw twist. This is cool. I love this, this is an art articulated fish charm, enamel. These are really cool. And there's another one in here. So we've got a couple of articulated fish charms. Awesome. There is a children's ring in here. Um, ring watch, basically. And um, 
Now this is cute, it's on a little stretchy. Put that with the kids' jewelry. I feel like this went very fast um, because of all of the kids' jewelry in there. This is a broken pearl and rhinestone necklace. It's got um, a Y dangle on there. It's pretty, I'm sure I could fix that very easily. This is a gold tone um, necklace with some like belt buckle detail. Okay, this is, has a name on it. it looks like Coray. Yeah, it says Coray on it. But it's very long and it's it's cool. It's I like this little like belt buckle detail with the rhinestones on it. That's not terrible. And um I'd say it's about 30 inches long or so. Not bad. Um, this looks like another one of those belt covers, um, button covers, but this one unfortunately um, looks like it lost its stone. So I'll go ahead and um, look through the bag to see if I can uncover that. Okay, this, this is, uh, whoa. So this was underneath everything on the underside of the bag. This is amazing, you guys. Look at the size of this thing. Look at the bail on it. And it's got a pen too. Let me see what it says. So it looks like it says, um, Echo in Mexico, um, DF, which is the legit, uh, made in Mexico. It says Sterling. It has a maker's mark on it. And it says DF, which um, I think means that's um, federal district. So that's usually um, silver that's made in Mexico City. This is cool, you guys. This is huge. And it's got this carved fish in the middle. I don't know if that's glass. I don't know if that's amethyst. Um, this is very modern, modernist design. That's awesome. Cool. See what else we got in there. This looks like oh, <laughs> more Mardi Gras jewelry. This is the crew of Rex. These are no, they are known as the kings of Mardi Gras. They're the oldest living crew um, in New Orleans. This is a silver, this is a pearl necklace. This looks like it's plastic. It's in really bad shape, really bad shape. So I'm gonna go and head and put this in craft. This is, we have a bangle, we have a skull bracelet. Gold toned, um, gold tone, brushed gold tone bangles. Oh, what's this? This is a Greek key silver tone uh, bangle bracelet. This is very interesting. It's very shiny. Um, it does have, um, it's a clamper style. There's a mark on it. It does. It says Italy, nine two five, right over here. I don't know if you guys would be able to see that, but I don't know. This looks very shiny. Like it doesn't look like pure silver. I mean, it looks like silver plated. Um, but it's very pretty. I like that. It, I mean, it does have a safety clasp on it. So I'm gonna have to test that out and see where I net out with that. That's cool. 
like that. Awesome. There's some good, okay, so there's some goodies in here. I guess maybe my theory proved true. This is just a, a, a kid's choker um, on a copper leather. This is a cheapy metal long necklace with multiple plastic beads on it. Looks like there's some interesting stuff in here, but this is, like I said, it's like a massive tangle. There's this in here. A little bar pen. You guys, I've... I've come across these before. I'm not really sure what they are. They're almost like a cross between a bobby pin and a bar pin. Um, if you know what this is, let me know. Yeah, so there's some massive tangles in here. Let's see what we can, if there's anything that will come free. So, um, you guys, I had ordered a box from Shop Goodwill, and I was going through it last night. It was like the dirtiest box. It wasn't as dirty as it was the hairball one, um, but it was pretty dirty. Like, my fingers were black by the time I was done going through it. And But here's the kicker. I'm, like, sitting on my couch, and it was late at night, and this gigantic spider jumps out of the box <laughs> and onto my arm, and it was like... I freaked out and started like screaming and my cat was like super disturbed, got all like puffy, her tail like puffed up and she was like, didn't know what the hell was going on. Um, but this dude, like he was on my arm and that freaked me out. So I flung my arm and he went flying across the room into my living room. And so I like looked over there and he was like running like a, like a, just like a little ass dude, big ass spider, like running through my living room. Um, <laughs> so I went over there and I killed him, but it was, uh, it was traumatizing. So this is cute. This is a little gold tone heart, um, necklace with three different hearts on it. Hearts. What am I saying? Uh, roses on a chain. This is cute. I like this. I would wear this every day. It's very sweet. Looks like that. It's nice. Okay, this looks like um oops, looks like a pair of earrings that might have been part of a set they were once selling that they couldn't sell it's got some weird stones on it i would say that they are citrine but they kind of look like popcorn it's a little weird but interesting there is this copper and um beaded necklace put that aside kind of junky There is more kids' jewelry here, but it's kind of tangly. There is, speaking of piercing, <laughs> some thin nose wire gauge, um, 20 gauge for your nose piercings here. Uh, at least they look still like they're brand new in the box, $14.99, but if you need nose rings, we got them. There is a miraculous metal here, still in the bag. Um, it says it's, in, it's made in Italy. You guys, <laughs> look at this. I'm not sure what to do with this. I'm going to try to clean this area up a little bit. There's too much going on, right?
So I'm gonna have to really dig into this Tangle. Um, I will tell you, I've found some really great things inside of Tangles. Um, you know, I think the jewelry stores, like the Goodwills and thrift stores and stuff, they just throw them into a bag or jar because they don't want to deal with the Tangle half the time. Um, but I have found some really beautiful, like I found a Brighton chain in one recently. Um, this is a, like a little junky Claire's necklace. Put that aside. Um, yeah, I saw the dangle, the Brighton dangle, the signature dangle, and it was inside this gigantic tangle. So I was working at the tangle, and eventually I got it free, and it was this like awesome little monkey um, pendant, Brighton pendant, and uh, it still had the tag on it um, with a retail of like fifty-eight dollars. Um, so that was like a great little find. So I know you know tangles are like really frustrating and, and people lose their patience going through them but sometimes it's really worth it so you just need to like really look at a tangle like this and I look for you know precious metal findings if I see something that looks like it could be silver or gold and then I'll just like focus on trying to get those free and and following where they're coming from I don't know if um, you know this is gonna be happening for us um, right now here's one this is a little um, pearl necklace with a toggle clasp Let's see. there's um, a quarter in here attached to a necklace that's been made into a piece of um, jewelry that's a heart. <laughs> um, what else? Hmm. Well, there's, you know, there's earrings in here too. The earrings are usually the culprit of what causes the massive tangles. Um, it looks like there's a couple more of these like glass, these glasses hold, these things to hold your glasses. Um, so yeah. Not gonna focus on this a whole lot because um, I don't want to take up your time but here I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example like I would definitely focus on trying to get let's see if we could do it this one this one out okay for now so this looks like a, um, a little silver necklace box chain um, has an initial R on it it's tarnished um, so I'm gonna I'll take a look at that I'll probably test that out see if it's silver or if there's a 925 stamp on it um, but that's kind of like an example I would just find whatever it looks like it's worth something or that might be interesting in the tangle and kind of like work to get that out so I'm just gonna put that aside for now I'm not gonna tackle that um, and we'll just keep going this is a sweet little flower pendant Looks like it has a hand-painted flower on it. Oh no, it's a micro mosaic. How cool! That is cool, you guys. Do you see it? You can kind of see the little pieces in there. I've never found a micro mosaic. Yeah, so on the back, it's marked Italy. There's a little stamp on the back. Um, it's very faint. But this is pretty. Super pretty. That's a good little find. I don't know if um, micro mosaics were considered um, kind of like, you know, junk jewelry. I don't know like what their equivalent is, you know, of the quality of what might be considered. I don't know if it's like an Avon, you know, it's an Avon quality. I don't know if it's, um, it's usually set in real gold. So that's something I'll have to look at a little closer offline. So there's this little like beaded necklace here with some crystals, a little dainty bracelet. I don't know where I don't know where these came from, but there's a very tarnished pair of hoops. I don't know where they must have come out of um, one of the jewelry, the mini I think the bag with the bag within the bag with the other stuff.
have this set of gold tone dangle earrings. Those are cute. Nice, shiny, good quality. Stuff here that's massively tangled. Pulling out some little interesting doodads here and there. You guys, of course, so there's like matching gummy bear earrings um, for that little pendant, and they're in all different colors. Yeah, so there's a ton of these little gummy earrings and they're super cute. I keep seeing more as I'm going through this jar. Here's a whole bunch, pink and peach and yellow and blue. So cute. Go with that little bracelet that we found earlier. Let's see, what else is noteworthy in here? See these rhinestone dangles? These are pretty. Pearl dangles are in very good condition. All rhinestones intact. Look like this. Very nice. Very nice for a night out on the town. Go out to dinner and dress up. This looks like that might be um, for that button cover. I think that's the piece that fell out. We have what looks like, oh, this is an angel coin. I thought this was more Canadian currency. <laughs> this is an angel coin. Lots of coins in here. Mardi Gras coins and otherwise. There is this pair of screw back um, vintage earrings. Could be on silver. They look like that. Very large millimeter pearls. These look like 8 to 10 millimeters. Looks like there's something on the back. Okay, they're Marvea. They're, these are Marvea pearls. There are all these little jade earrings. These are very cute. There's a set of hearts and also a little dangle, stick dangle. And hearts look like that. And then there's these little stick dangles that are very cute too. That look like that. I like both of those a lot. Those are pretty. There's that we had the um, blue stone dangle earrings earlier, and this is the red ones. This is a little silver measuring spoon charm. It's so cute. It says one tablespoon and one teaspoon. You guys, how cute is that? All right, so I think I'm getting to the end here. There's um, a lot of smalls. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to see if I find any pairs of anything that looks interesting. Um, you know, it's going to be a lot, and I have all of these tangles as well. So I'm not going to go through all of this, um, but what I can do is is report back on if I find anything that might be of interest, any gold or silver or um, additional interesting 
pieces. I found this little cutie, this little Raggedy Ann earring. She's so cute, and she's got a little um, strawberry, so she's adorable. I wonder if her partner is somewhere in here. Um, she's probably older, late 70s, early 80s, I think. Raggedy Ann, right? Yeah, I think that's really it. We're kind of coming to the end here. Um, without getting into the tangles, this is also, these are also in here um, as a pair. And these are marked. This is my loop. It says Barbara Lee. I'm not familiar with Barbara Lee, but these, um, these are pretty. They kind of remind me of um, Christian Dior earrings, um, a style that they did not too long ago. It's very pretty, and they're in good condition. They're very shiny and new, um, so that's great. These might be singles. I'll have to look further. Oh, I did see this, but I don't see a partner for him. It's a little watering pale earring. Um, I thought that was funny. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this unbagging. I think there was definitely um, some hidden treasures in here and some interesting stuff. Um, also a lot of kids stuff. Um, so, but I hope, you know, if you're enjoying my content that you will like and subscribe. Um, and if you have feedback on, on how I'm doing things, I'll, I'll take that as well. I always want to make everything better um, for you guys so that it's more enjoyable. And really quickly, I'll recap some of the favorites. Um, Definitely this big silver, Mexican silver pendant, modernist. That's amazing. I love these articulated little fish. Um, I do love this micro mosaic a whole lot. That was a nice little surprise. Um, this bracelet with the Greek key design. Um, Want to look into that further to make sure um, that that is in fact silver. But I like those a whole lot. Um, this cat bracelet. <laughs> so funny. Um, pretty damn cute. I like these silver boxes a whole lot. Um, those were very interesting. I like a lot of um, some of these silver pieces from the bag that was in there. Um, what else? This collar necklace is cute. And the gummy bear charm bracelet is adorable. Yeah, and I, th I think that's everything. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for spending some time with me. And um, like I said, if, you, if you're enjoying the content, please like, please subscribe. Ooh, I forgot one pair of earrings. These weird ear eyeball earrings as well. Those are neat. Um, yeah, please share the love and let me know what you think and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.